and welcome back everybody so we drop the game against the blowfish on a terrible late inning pitching blow up kent ratherwell is going to take the mound for us here against the buzzards taking on bradley bowler he's gonna hope to stop the bleeding and maybe get a little bit of a turn well I'll tell you, the saying in baseball is, momentum's always as good as your next day's starter, and if that's true, then maybe Kent Ratherwell's got a shot. He is an excellent pitcher. More of a lung relief specialist, but he does spot start. Long-term veteran in the league. And the Freebooter is off to an 0 and 3 start this year. All the losses at home. But hey, it's a long season, so one would hope he'll get it back. And that one missed being fair by a second. Pompey she dives for it. It'll bounce into the stands. Well hit ball to third. Bad hop Brown is gonna grab it out of the air for the first out. So rather well, quickly gets, and it looks like he's going to have two here, a grounder right back for the pitcher. So rather well now quickly gets two outs. The Buzzards have a pretty dangerous lineup. And a great power team. But he'll pop him up to second, and it looks like Walker runs his... Ooh. Excuse me, Landon Fair starting at second today. So Landon Fair will get the second put out. Making a big of the right-handed pitcher. It's Bradley Bowler on the mound, also a long relief spot start specialist. Throws two fastballs. Change up curveball for the out. Pitch. Excuse me, slider change up for the out. Misses outside there. And well hit ball, but it's going to be held up by the mound there and slow down enough for the second baseman to get it and flip the first. For the second out. One thing to note about Ratherwell and Bowler, there's a soft grounder to third. Mustachio will throw to first for the out. As I was saying, one thing to note about both Ratherwell and Bowler is that they do not throw a ton of pitches before getting fatigued. Generally not more than five or six innings. And well hit ball up the center there. That's getting through for a base hit. Runner will advance to first and hold up with a single. The third baseman, Mario Mustachio. So rather well was the leadoff single and the runner will go, but the ball is hit foul. First base side out of play. We did see the blowfish. There's a well hit ball to second. Landon Fair dives for it. Not able to get the runner at second, but he fires to first for the first out. Blowfish used the base running game very effectively in the last one against Lana Rhines. Rather well, does not seem to be overly bothered by the runner. Maintains a good rhythm. Second inning, one out, runner on second. And popped him up to right field. Open Stiffs will grab it for the second out and fire in. Runner holds it second. Spits McKinney on the mound. Rather well doing a nice job finding his spots. Well hit ball, that's gonna bounce off the shortstop's glove and they're gonna send the runner home. He will be, throw will not even be attempted. Runner is safe by a mile. And the Buzzards take a one nothing lead here in the second. So 
Okay, we'll see how they score that in a moment. Rather well continues to pitch at a pretty good clip. Soft hit grounder to third, and the throw is in time for the third out. Looks like they're going to be scoring that as a hit, so Ratherwell takes an earned run on his record. Jackman at the plate here in the second. Takes a strike. And rockets that one foul. Backstop. And struck him out swinging. Jackman was thinking fastball all the way, and they just snuck that, that changeup right by him. Patience Evergreen got off to a hot hot start. Excuse me, got off to a hot start this year, but has struggled more recently in games two and three, and she will pop out to third there. So Freebooters playing from behind again in this game here in the second inning, one nothing. Pop Dushi at the plate and. Swing strike. Dushi already has two home runs, hitting just 167 so far. Tries to get him to chase. And pumped him up third base side. Looks like that's going to go into the stands. Pump Dushi behind 0 and 2. Works the count full, but they get him on the swinging strike out there for the third out. Buzzards will come to the plate, top of the third. One nothing buzzards. Can't rather well misses high. Rather well works that strike zone pretty well. Gets the swinging strike out there in the outside slider. Now batting the short spot. But Bunterson. Misses that one, but it Landon Fair will field that grounder for the first second out. But I'm not sure if it is Jermaine Reigns behind the plate today. Looks like that could be Rocky Backstop. Who is doing a nice job handling these. There's a hard hit line at a second. Landon Fair will grab it for the third out. I, it would appear it was Jermaine Reigns behind the plate there. So, no rest for the wicked. It seems like Reigns will get the start today, having played the last three games at catcher. After taking over for Kenny Corrin late yesterday. And Buttons Bunnerson will field that one and throw the first. One down in the third. Freebooters up to bat. One nothing buzzards. And he gets a strike there. Make the count one and one. Make that two and one. Reigns taking a lot of pitches right now. And a well hit ball to left. But McKinney will catch this one on the warning track. And here's Landon Ferris, first at bat, he will swing and hit a high pop up to center, almost to the track. Center fielder Rolf Borgnar will make the catch for the third out. So one, two, three, go the booters. And that brings us to the fourth inning. Both pitchers working very quickly today. Well hit ball to center. This one might not be coming down. It is caught on the track by Brickhouse. Boy, that center field is very deep in this park, and some of these hits are deceptive. But he hit that one about as well as you can hit a pitch. And Kent Ratherwell has to be feeling rather lucky there. 
pops this one up right in front of the plate. The main reins will grab it for the second out. The third baseman, Mario Mustachio. There's one in there for a strike. Well hit ball up the center, there's a base knock. So Bustachio on with a single here with two outs in the fourth. Now batting the first baseman, Joseph Trunk. Joseph Trunk off to kind of a rough start this year. Hitting just 071. Of course, in the fourth game, it's hard to make any note of that. The runner will go and he gets him. A nice throw by Reigns gets Mustachio out by half a tick to end the inning. Excuse me, it is very hot here. So I've got my drink. There's a single, excuse me, a well-hit single to center field. It's going to bounce in there. He's going to have a base hit to lead off the inning. As I was saying, I have my ice drink here. It's about 90 degrees up in the booth. And another well-hit ball to center. That's going to be a base hit. So the freebooters threatening first and second. Nobody out in the fourth. Sturdy Woodman at the plate. Bradley Bowler in his first pit of trouble. There's another well-hit ball. Runners will hold, so base is loaded. Nobody out in the fourth inning. And Guns Jackman at the plate. He has hit excellently so far. There's one in there low for a ball. And foul ball bounces off the backstop. Ooh, a little chin music there. And Rounder to second, on to first, double play. So the run will score, but two outs, runner on third now. Well hit ball to short. He'll field and throw to first in time for the third out. So freebooters get one run across on bases loaded, nobody out. You gotta like that more than the times they got no runs across. But the double play where it helps get the buzzards out of the inning. Rather well, pitching with a 1 1 tie in the fifth. He's thrown 60 pitches. And he will get the strikeout to start the fifth. Spitz McKinney, 1 for 1 on the day with the RBL on the mishandled grounder nope. to Guns Jackson. And Landon Fair with the diving stop, fires to rather well at first, he gets him in time for the second out. Landon Fair really, really validating the decision to start him at second today. Well hit ball to left, Evergreen's gonna run in, but she's not gonna get to this one. She'll field, fire to second, runner will hold with a base hit. Sloop whoopity up the back. Runner on first, two outs, fifth inning, 1-1. One, one. And a well hit ball to center, this one is high, it is gone! To the second deck in center field, a well hit ball. Two run shot off of Kent Ratherwell to break the 1 1 stalemate, and the Buzzers will take a 3 1 lead in the fifth. Buttons Bunnison to the hit, and he will ground one up the center for a base hit to Brickhouse, who throws in. Now batting the designated hitter. Oh boy. Oh, I love what the announcer does that. Rather well was cruising through that game. Whistle gives up a base hit through left. Runners advance. So first and second, two out. Rather well was cruising there. But when he lost it, he lost it. Buzzards now ahead 3 1. Steamboat whistle in the game. And. 
yet another game where the freebooters had to go to their bullpen before the sixth inning. When you go to your bullpen before the sixth inning in three or four games, they are going to be exhausted. So the freebooters offense needs to get something going here if they're going to have a shot for keeping up in this game. Gucci at the plate. Two home runs, 154 average. Here in game four, for what that's worth. And grounds to second here for the first out. Now batting the third baseman, Bad Hawk Brown. Oh, and that one is just going to curve fair. I thought for sure that was going foul. But Bad Hop Brown rounds to first for the second out. So an unlucky break there. Jermaine Reigns steps up to the plate with two outs in the fifth. Rebooter is 1-2. And he will line out to Sloop Whoopity at second for the third out. So down go the Freebooters. 1-2-3. And in we go to the top of the sixth inning. Steamboat Whistle still in the game. He has probably thrown about as many pitches as some of the starters at this point. And he'll walk them on four pitches to lead off the inning. Those leadoff walks are very dangerous, especially when you have a steal around base. They don't in this case. Just wanted to point that out. Russell gets ahead one and two here against Mustachio. Well hit ball through the third base hole for a base hit. They'll send the runner to third and will not test, but throws to fair at second. So, Buzzards now have first and third, nobody out here in the six. And they are threatening. Soft hit grounder, if that had been fair, it would have scored the run. And popped him up. Reigns will get it behind the plate for the first out. So, first and third, one out now. Spitz McKinney at the plate. Whistle fires one in there for a strike. They attempt the double steal. Catcher drops the ball. He's able to recover and fire to first for the second out. Runner does not advance home. Whistle now pitching with two outs. Runners on second and third. And a well hit ball. That is just over the bag. Fair. Looks like both runners will score. And he will be standing on second with a double. So there's a bases clearing RBI, and the Buzzards take a 5 1 lead. Ryder McPride will step into the game, hoping to salvage this. And a well hit ball to left. That one is going to be gone into the second row in left field. So a two-run shot makes this a 7-1 game here in the sixth inning. Sloop Whoopity. Hitting out of the nine hole with a two-run shot against Ryder McBride. Fair will take that soft grounder to end the inning, but four runs on the home run and the double. Now the Buzzards up 7-1 here in the sixth there. inning. Bradley Bowler still in the game. Landon Fair at the plate. And he pops him up, first base side out of play. Landon Fair, and Joseph Trunk is going to make a diving stop at first. Landon Fair almost had a grounder through the gap. But Trunk, with a nice stop, he flips to the pitcher for the first out. One down here in the six, 7-1 Buzzards. And 
Stockton Brickhouse, a well hit ball to center, but right to the fielder and Rolf Borgmar. For the second out. Oakley Stiffs now at the plate, two outs, six inning, seven one buzzards. Oakley Stiffs has been hitting very well to start the season, three RBIs, but he strikes out looking here for the third out. Three booters, just three hits on the day, one run. They haven't really done much at all to even threaten. And there is a well hit ball to left. That one's not coming down. Goodbye into the fourth row in left field. The Buzzards will take an 8 1 lead in the seventh inning. Now batting the right fielder. On the first pitch of the seventh inning, she hits a solo shot to left. Another well hit ball. Landon Fair with the diving stop. Fires to first in time for the first down. Well, they're going to leave Ryder, Ryder McCride in. I guess what else do you do at this point? The entire bullpen is exhausted. The only other option would be Grace Lupinovich, who has also pitched about five innings here in the first four games. And there's a soft grounder to short. Guns Jackman mishandles it. Runner is safe by a mile. The third baseman, Mario Not a hard hit ball, but Jackman just unable to pick it up, it looked like. So what should have been no runners, two outs, is now runner on first, one out, and a well hit ball to right. That's gonna get in there for a base hit. Now batting, the first baseman, Joseph Trunk. That'll bring up Joseph Trunk, two on, one out. And another well hit ball. This one's through the first base hole. They're gonna send the runner home. Throw, not in time. Reigns not able to handle it, but it didn't matter anyway. The runner was already across the plate. And they are going to bring in Lupinovich. Here in the seventh. And she will shatter the bat. Landon Fair grabs the second out. Tries to double him up at first, but nothing doing. Hard hit ball, foul. Got him about a mile high. And she will pop him up, hopefully for the third out. Bad hop Brown able to grab it. So two more runs for the buzzard on two solo shots. Excuse me, one solo shot and a RBI single. The Buzzards will make some defensive adjustments. Bradley Bowler still in the game here in the seventh. Sturdy Woodman at the plate. Seventh inning, 9-1 Buzzards. And Bowler will strike out Woodman for the first out. Woodman did not even take a swing. So Bowler comes out of the game. He threw about 80 pitches. Meat commonly comes in, a fastball thrower. Will struggle to find the strike zone, but he can overpower weaker pitchers. Freebooters hoping to get something going here against the bullpen. Guns Jackman at the plate. Hit him to the double play last time up, but does have the team's only RBI. Buttons Bunnerson will field and fire to first for the second round. The left fielder, Henshin Evergreen. No. That's a ball And commonly quickly falls behind here in the count. And walks around four pitches. Looks now like they were all outside fastballs. So freebooters get a runner in the seventh. Two outs. Patience Evergreen on first. Not much of a danger to steal, but enough speed to get around if Dushi hits it well. And he hit him. 
Ooh, that one. I felt that in the booth. Got him right in the hip. He's going to limp to first. That's going to bring in Max Texas. So the Buttards will turn to Texas out of the pen. Bad hot brown at the plate. First and second, two out. 9-1, Buzzards. Seventh inning. Well hit ball to center. That one's going to get in there for a base hit. They will send Evergreen home. She's going to be safe. Keeps the throw by a country mile. And the freebooter is able to get another run across. 9-2. Texas off to some early struggles this season. Another well hit ball to third. Mustachio with a diving stop. Long throw across the infield for the third out. So freebooters get one run and leave two at the seventh inning. And that will bring Sloop Whoopity up here in the eighth. Grace Dukinovich still on the mound. The only one left in the bullpen is Kay Frequin, but they could turn to her here just to get a few innings. She has not seen much work so far in the season. This hasn't been many safe situations. And Lupinovich will get the fly out from the center. Brick House drifting under it to make the first out. Well hit ball to center, that's getting in for a base hit. So Buttons Bunnerson is on with one out in the ace. Now batting the designated hitter, Helena Bigsby. And Helena Bigsby now at the plate. Buttonson is an excellent base runner. Look for them to test the main reins there. A soft liner to Guns Jackman, he's gonna grab it for the second now out. Batting the right fielder, Daniel Yoshida. Reigns does not have the best rated arm, but he has gotten a couple so far this season. And Lupinovich missing outside. Looks like his fastball is dialing down a little bit, and she'll walk him on five pitches. So first and second now. 9-2 Buzzards. And pop him up behind the plate. Is this fieldable or is it going into the backstop? That's going to bounce off the backstop harmlessly. And boy, they would love Lupinovich to get this out. Got the count now full. Eight inning, two on. They're going to try the double steal. And the ball is through for a base hit up the center. They'll send one. And, oh my goodness, they tried to throw to third. Guns Jackman standing in the way. It bounces off of them. They might have had the runner. So the run will score. The inning will continue. Grace Lupinovich will leave the game. And Kay Frequin will get the quick third out. Ted two buzzards. Boy. Guns Jack been not known for his defense. I suppose those are the sacrifices you make for great offense. Landon Fair grounds one past the pitcher, but not hard enough to get through. Get a quick first out. Max Texas in the game, pitching against Stockton Brickhouse with one out in the eighth. And Brickhouse will ground one to Sloop Whoopity at second for the second out. Now batting the right fielder, Oakley Stiff. Two outs of the ace. Oakley Stiff's pop one up behind the plate. Going to bounce harmlessly off the backstop. 10 2 Buzzards, eighth inning, two outs. And Oakley Stiffs will walk. So now batting the designated hitter, 30 
The Freebooters able to get a base runner. We'll see if they can turn it into something here with two outs in the eighth. Sturdy Woodman, excellent bat Whoa. skills, hitting 250, one home run, two RBIs in four games. Well hit to left, but looks like it's just going to hang up for Spitz McKinney. He barely had to move to field that one. So down go the booters, leaving one base runner. And the buzzards step up to the plate in the ninth. Kay Frequent on the mound. She's just looking to get in some work now. The only arm in the freebooters bullpen who has yet to throw a full inning. Although I believe she crossed that line uh, last inning. And that one's going to be fouled into the dugout just out of play. Do she tries for it? And she struck him out looking. So first out in the inning. Kay Freakman gets the strikeout. Swinging strike for strike two. Payoff pitch, and he struck him out looking. Kay Frequin, two strikeouts now in the inning. And she is just locating with that two seamer today. Well hit ball, and that's going to be right past Landon Fair for the for a base hit. Excuse me. So a runner does get on in the inning. But K Frequin pitching very hard. Another well hit ball though, and Landon Fair is not going to be able to handle this one. Runner is now on first and second. He gets to it before they can consider going for three there. Pops up on the inside two seamer for the third out. So two left on in the inning. No runs. Freebooters stepping up to the plate. Max Texas looking to be a little bit tired here. Comes Jackman at the plate. Well hit ball, but right to Sloop Whippity at second for the first out. Now pitching Sebastian Morrow. And we'll turn to Sebastian Morrow to try to finish this game. Patience Evergreen at the plate with one out. Well hit ball to center. Is this one going to get in? It will not. Rolf Borgnar able to track it down. Hit it right on the screws, but unfortunately you just can't aim them. So two outs and Pompducci at the plate. Fouls that one first base side into the dugout. And he will pop up to center. Borgnar drifts under it to make the third out. And the Buzzards will take this one 10-2. So Buzzards win this game. 16 hits for them. And two errors for the Freebooters. Bowler gets the win, six and a third, one earned run, four strikeouts. Kent Ratherwell will take the loss, four and two thirds, three earned runs, two strikeouts, and the home run. Buzzards get all three player of the game honors. Sloop Whoopity taking first with a two for five, two home run performance. Rolf Borgner and Bradley Bowler also receiving honorable mention. So with the loss, the Freebooters fall to 0-4 on the season. They are now the sole possession of last place in their division and will look to have a bounce back game, excuse me, tomorrow against the Wide Loads. Well, with the double feature, it has been lovely to bring the baseball games to you all, and I hope you have a great afternoon. Good night.